Now if you watch the training video on creating a pivot chart on a form, this is going to be the same concept here, but except it's going to be a pivot table on a form. In any case, what you need to do is to decide what your pivot table is going to be based upon, what data, either a table or a query that's based upon a bunch of tables. I have my customer each query, meaning that I have my customer's name and I have the transaction dates and then for each date that they purchased something I just have the price of each product of what they purchased. Not the total quantity that they purchased or the total sum of what they purchased, just that if they bought like let's say 10 products, each product was 1995. On the same transaction date they had another product they purchased that was valued at $34 each. So now that we know that the pivot table is going to be based upon this customer each query, close out, come up here and make sure I select that query because when I come up here and click on the create tab and come over here to the forms group and click on the more forms and come down here and click on pivot table it's basing it upon what I had selected over here so the data is being pulled from the customer each query let me click over here somewhere so I can pull up my field list when it comes to selecting what fields you want to use in your pivot table or pivot chart it comes down to what do you know about your database and what you'd like to filter in or filter out or pivot in and pivot out between your data so here for my pivot table I'm going to click on my customer name and say that it's going to be a row field and click and drag it and drop it on the row field where it says drop row fields and then for my column fields I'm going to do it by transaction date or in this case date by month click and drag that and drop it there and then the price of each product is going to be my details here of the data that I'm going to be pivoting or filtering in and out by customer and then by the year or break it down by quarters or months so click and drag price each into where it says drop totals or detail fields here and let go and there we go so looking at this I've got at least the customer name all weather sports and I have all these different prices here and these prices are representative of the price of each product that was purchased not the number of products or the total number of products of that transaction date but for this date or for this price they purchased one or twenty or hundred but the price of each product was thirty nine dollars for that transaction date because they came back later and purchased the same product again maybe 30 or 40 or I don't know what the quantity is but the price of each product that they purchased on that day for that particular product was $39 and I go ahead and close out of here and I'm gonna go ahead and expand the field by right clicking on it and going down to expand so I can reveal the quarters then right click on quarters and come down and expand that so I can reveal the months because I want to be able to click and drag the years up here till I get a red X which means it's going to remove it so it drops it off the form here click and drag and come up here and remove that so now I just have months so here I'm looking at all weather sports the price of each product or the product that they purchased was thirty nine dollars for January they didn't purchase that same product it looks like because I don't see a repeat of the price of that product in uh, February but they came back and it looks like they purchased that in March now I have my own reasons for keeping track of this the whole point of this training video and the others is that do you understand the concepts does it make sense are you beginning to see in your mind the data that you want to keep track of within your database and how you want to display it okay when I'm finished just be sure to save my work click on save and we're going to call it form or FRM the prefix three letter prefix because you can see the little icon here it's again a pivot table on a form here the name of my form will be P table and then hit enter now you want to watch the next training video because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the pivot table and embed it in another form here that's going to be cool because when I go from one customer order to the next it's going to show me the details here of the sub form thanks for watching hey as a quick reminder if you like my video please give it a thumbs up you can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.